Now I've been searching the internet for good information on how to get the valve geometry on a VW Beetle Type 1 engine and no real good luck. There's a couple of web pages, uh, websites, uh, forums that you can go to and they will explain it in a very beautiful way if you understand the lingo but I guarantee you that 90 now, 70% of the uh, readers are going, I'll say what? So, I'm trying to make it so that it is not difficult to understand. I'm going to explain it with an illustration here. I'm trying to explain it. Eh, I might confuse you even more. Oh, what the heck. Anyways, this is for uh, Type 1 VW head. Uh, this is up. This is bottom or down. Um... We're, we're going to be talking about rocker sweep on your valve stems. This is your valve stem. This is three scenarios. One, two, three. And uh, we're going to talk about rocker sweep. Total lift would be that line right there. No lift would be your beginning. In other words, you know, there is no lift on your, on your, on your uh, valve. So that would be that line. And on this illustration right here, it shows that the sweep has a lot of gap between the edge of the valve stem and the beginning of the sweep and it has a uh, the end of the sweep is really close to the edge of this uh, of the valve stem so that tells me that uh, you need to remove shim either you used a lot of shim on your rockers and basically you you you, your uh, push rod tube is uh, basically too long so this is a bad scenario second scenario is basically what a lot of the VW guys run into the second scenario which is too little shim or no shim and basically your push rod being too short uh, so basically to fix this you need to add shim because you can see that this is basically opposite to this one. See, now you've got your starting sweep down here versus that one. And your ending sweep, which is total lift, ending almost just above the center diameter of your valve stem. This is bad also. Now, I've seen heads that go, they've had really, really bad uh, geometry uh it's just horrible where the actual valve guides come loose because it's so bad it goes damn but anyways uh, this is why it's really important to get this right so on this scenario is either no shim or too little shim and basically your push rod is too short so you're gonna need to uh, extend it and add shim uh, on this scenario this is the perfect scenario you your gaps here and here are identical basically this is no lift your starting lift and this is your ending lift these two this and this should be identical in uh, distance okay now when you do your your uh, half lift test uh, basically when you get to half lift then you back off you turn your, your engine to half lift and then you back off you should have a nice sweep area starting here and ending right in the middle of the diameter of the valve stem. That's where you should end. If you get that, you're good, man. Cut your uh, push rods to whatever length you had had uh, on your adjustable push rod, and uh, you're done. It's, it's, it's good. Uh, basically, there's a lot of ways to, to get that sweep in the middle. If you don't want to add shims, Let's say that you're at uh, some other scenario where you could actually just do, use uh, lash caps. And that might get you there. Okay? But um, there's a lot of things that you could do to get it to where you need to be. And then it also depends on your um, what kind of rockers you're using. If you're using the elephant feet or if you're using the sweepers. If you're using the... Uh, uh, there's so many different uh, 
variety so you're just gonna have to play with it but you're gonna have to find out where exactly your sweep area is and basically you want it right in the center like this guy right there um, and uh, I'll show you the illustration on, uh, on my engine when I start to uh, do the geometry on it okay here's a neat trick to check for those uh, sweep areas what I do is I grab the, uh, the lash caps like on, on this on this particular motor I'm, I'm using lash caps because these uh, rockers these rockers require uh, lash caps you can't run these without lash caps it, it all depends on your rockers but anyways I need to run the lash caps so what I do is I grab a, a uh, dry eraser and just do a, a nice sweep the reason I use a dry eraser is because it leaves a very nice uh, mark when um, when you're trying to see the sweep area okay Ugh. See if you can see that it's nice and dark then what I do is I insert the uh, push rod adjustable one put this on with the push rod uh, installed I already have it installed on this and I just wanted to show you that little neat trick and uh, you do a complete uh, cycle on the valve right now I'm using the uh, the uh, exhaust valve I got I got it to where it's uh, calibrated perfectly calibrated and I'm gonna turn the engine to get a complete cycle on it and it should mark the the sweep area on the lash cap letting you know where exactly you are that's a little hard okay now it's coming back let's just go back make sure you get a double sweep on that sucker Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move that. Okay, I went ahead and loosened it up real quick because uh, trying to make the video as short as possible. Okay, Let's see if we can get this out. There we go. Oh my goodness gracious, that is a perfect sweep right there. Let's see if I can get that. See that? That is perfect, right in the center. Perfect on a complete sweep, uh, all the way up to uh, from no lift to total total lift. Okay, now you can do the same thing if you're running the other type of rockers where you don't need lash caps. You can do the same thing on your on on your uh, valve stem. You know, just use the epoxy racer. Uh, uh, marker and it'll come right off when uh, when it cycles now if you got the older uh, uh, rockers the original ones with the really worn out adjusters that are right here those you better get new ones because the the, the head if it's all out of whack it's gonna give you a erroneous uh, reading so just you know spend a couple of bucks it's a, they're only like five bucks you know for a whole set or something like that um, get new new screws, adjustable screws for your uh, older original style. That way you get a nice sweep on your on your valve stem. And uh, that's pretty much it, really. Um, actually, one more thing. Let me show you something. Okay, the, that one more thing was uh, you have to do your half lift test. When you do your half lift test and it works out you're like good right forget about what i said about cut your your push rods uh, you're good uh you have to make sure that you've got this correctly set or you know sometimes they're over here on the on this other side with these uh original uh rockers but anyways how do you know where to set this pivot point right well it's really easy um you need to set that at 90 degree angle in relation this pivot point right here in relation to this point right in the middle of this nut or the center of the shaft has to be 90 degrees so basically let's move the camera a little bit 
basically that's your rod right there right this is your push rod and it has to line up with the with the rod well, I mean with the center of the shaft the center of that shaft has to be like it'll be like right there and then when you got that angle perfectly that's how you know how deep this has to be um, to be in the right ballpark and same thing goes with with your valve okay oh, let's do this the other way around and your valve at half lift when you're at half lift same thing this angle pivot point that pivot point has to be in line with the middle of your shaft and that's how you know you're you're on the money and uh, then you can cut your shaft because you could have this uh, deeper or more up and even though you have your correct sweep uh, it'll still be off uh, putting excess wear on on your on your on your pivot points so uh, you want to have that at 90 degree angle at half lift both of them at the same time okay when you're at half lift that's the last test. That's it. There's no more. Cut them. Okay, this is a neat trick that I that I that I found out that you can cut really easy. Now you could cut these with a hacksaw, yeah, or one of those uh, other type of saws that are uh, miter saw type. Uh, you know what? Those are not very accurate. So what I like to do is uh, I grab my set, I measure all the uh, push rods, the new push rods, make sure they're all exactly the same length. If they are, you can proceed with this this method. Basically, what I do is uh, I use the square or a piece of metal, whatever. Use a caliper and measure the amount that you're going to take off to get the length that you're looking for. Remember, measure twice, cut once. Use the the metal. This as a as a base for your sharp edge on your calipers because they're really really sharp right here. And you already got the measurement, so what you do is you turn it on, you know, you set it right next to it. And you can see that for a little while. There we go, there's the groove. And this drill press basically serves as a gauge. <laughs> when you spin it, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, you know what? You can barely, I don't know if you can make it out. If you can make it out, well, well, anyways, trust me, there's a mark right there. That's exactly where I'm going to cut with my um, Dremel tool at the same time that I'm spinning the, uh, the drill press. And that should give you a nice, true um, cut. Okay? 